everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs, and it's time to start making our Christmas projects. This week on my blog, I'm featuring the gift of giving a really good stamp set. And I'm gonna show you a card I made for a swap. I think it's an easily reproduced card. There is some blend coloring, but not a whole lot, which I think makes it a little bit easier. Um, I found that this image right here went really well with this paper. This is our Traditions of St. Nick designer series paper. And so we're gonna use two pieces of it. You can see there's St. Nick on the back. We're gonna use these two pieces, which I think are my favorite patterns in the whole um, pack. Paper's gorgeous. Well, let's do our stamping first. All right, we're gonna stamp this in Memento Black on a stylish shape circle that I've cut from basic white cardstock. It is the largest circle die in the set. There we go. Now I decided to leave my cup white. That way it kind of reduces the amount of coloring that you need to do. Um, let's start with Old Olive. We'll do the, we'll kind of go from the smallest to the biggest. I'm gonna take my Old Olive uh, light and just color in those leaves. Now we're gonna do something special here uh, with enamel effects. I have really been on an enamel effects kick lately. Um, it's one of those that, things that sat in my drawer for a while, I forgot about them. Um, and then when I pulled them out, it was like I can't stop using them. So we're gonna add those to the berries. But one thing I do like to do is go ahead and color them in just in case for some reason your little dot of enamel effects doesn't completely color it, you've got some color behind there. All right, now for the candy cane, it is very small, narrow. So the tip of your um, blend is fat. So you're gonna have to be really careful. And what I like to do is just tap in the color. Um, just kind of tap it in. I don't really set my marker down real hard on there. I just kind of tap, tap, tap that color in to get it into those lines. You can also, when you have something this small, you can use your stamp and write markers. They're not really designed, I don't think, for coloring big areas, because um, you get kind of those streaks. But if you use it on something small like this, you're gonna have no problem. All right, now let's go back to that chocolate chip cookie. And we're gonna color that in with light crumb cake. And I felt like those chocolate chips needed a little bit of life. So I'm gonna take my dark crumb cake and color those in. Um, for the chocolate, hot chocolate in there, I'm using one of our um, natural skin tones and I have number 400 written on it. They're, now they're labeled a little bit differently. I'll look and put it on the supply list. It says number 400 on the side. Um, they come in two packs and they're labeled a little bit differently now. So I don't know which one, what it's called, but I will make sure to have it there for you. All right, kind of tap that hot chocolate color in there like that. And then I wanted to add some dimension to the, um, um, hello, marshmallows as well. And I'm just gonna take some Smoky Slate Light and I'm gonna tap in a shadow anywhere you would see overlap. So at the bottom here, um, where the cup overlaps, and then also where the marshmallows are overlapping each other. Now to kind of smooth that out, I'm gonna take my um, color lifter and just kind of pull the color out that way. And it kind of smooths it out, lightens it up, and makes it look a little bit more like a shadow. All right, there we go. Now, let's put our card together. We're gonna add that enamel effects at the end. Um, I have two pieces of designer series paper here. Let me pull out my trimmer. It's all the way at the bottom, of course. And we're gonna cut the larger piece diagonally. And I'm gonna line up I need a three-fourths of an inch. I want this at three-fourths of an inch, basically is what I'm saying. So you can use your trimmer or you can get a ruler, like I'm gonna do. And actually, let's just line it up like this and put a little mark there, right there, okay? And then down here at four and a fourth, we're gonna put a mark. So four 
and a fourth right there. That's just gonna show us where we wanna line these up. So put that top mark and that bottom mark right there in the gutter where you can see them through the little window and cut, okay? Then I've got a piece of uh, mossy meadow, just a strip. I'm gonna tear it. Let's see which one, I think I like this one better. And I'm gonna put this back here. It's like a border without cutting a border. And then we're gonna, we need to match these edges like that. All right, I have a real red card base. And we're gonna put this little piece, this is just a four inch square. We're gonna put that right there. Try and get it straight. And then we're gonna overlap this. Going right over it. Like that. Okay, let me move this in a little bit. I gotta match those edges. There we go. All right, there's a little more right there. Okay, so now dimensionals. I'm gonna leave those enamel effects to the very end. Trust me. I have said this on videos before and I will say it again. Enamel effects take a while to dry. So you're gonna to wanna, to, after you put your little dots on, you're gonna to wanna to set it completely across the other side of the room. Every time I don't do that, if I just like lay it up here on my desk, 100% of the time I end up laying something on top of it and smushing and smearing the enamel effects. <laughs> so trust me when I say, stand up, walk across the room, put it somewhere else, on another table. And I like to put mine in a window seal because I know I'm not gonna set anything on top of it there. All right, um, this is our um, natural ribbon. It comes in a two pack with real red. So you could also use the real red here if you'd like. And we're gonna put that right there. All right, now I'm using two different enamel effects. We're gonna use the red for our berries. And you wanna make just a like a Hershey Kiss shape, like squish it and come straight up, all right? And when it comes out, it looks a little bit pink for whatever reason, but when it dries, it is red. All right, now we have another, we have six different kinds of enamel effects. This one is the black. And I'm actually just gonna add some more dots, kind of like embellishments, like I would with our little adhesive sequins and, and stuff, th those things. All right. And there you have it. I think this is a fun Christmas card. It would be easy to reproduce multiples of. When I did the swap and I colored about 20 of these, I just sat in front of the TV and colored them and it was like that, no problem, pretty easy. All right, you guys, make sure you visit my blog. Um, there's a free PDF for you and two other gift of giving projects. And let me know if you have questions. Happy stamping, bye-bye.